Welcome back guys! How have you been? If you are new here, my name is Toniko. I paint on bags and I paint on other things. I like to draw and I like to make figurines. And recently I have been doing digital painting as well. Welcome to my channel! Please don't forget to subscribe, like, press the notification bell, comment and share if you can. Thank you! Before we get started on today's art talk, I would like to take this opportunity to thank all of you guys for coming back and joining me again today. And I know that this past few days, we have gained a few more subscribers. So I would like to thank all of you guys and welcome to my channel. I hope that through my videos, you don't only learn something. It would be very nice if you can also share your knowledge with us, help each other improve our skills and be just a positive space where everybody is supporting each other i'm really curious as to where you are watching me from can you please comment where your location is i am located in japan but i'm originally from negros oriental philippines by the way this cute michael kors bag is owned by my client shara i don't know if i pronounced her name right but in katakana she spelled it shara but i think it's Shala in English. I don't know. Please correct me. I'm sorry if I pronounce it incorrectly. She loves green so that is why I tried to paint something green here so that it will match her outfit. Alright, so let's get into today's art talk. A lot of you guys have messaged me asking me as to how I price my artworks. As I have mentioned before, I am not a professional artist, so what I'm going to say here is just how I personally do it and it works for me. I try to simplify it by calculating a couple of things. First, you have to take into consideration all of the material cost and other expenses that you have while doing this project. Second is the labor. So let's talk about the materials and other expenses, for example, the paint, the brushes, the pencil, even the eraser, the varnish, bubble wrap if you're going to package your um, artwork, the packaging tape, the wrapping paper, box or even the paper bag, the sticker if you want to give freebies, the yarn if you're going to tie your package, um, the newspaper, in my case, I, I always add newspaper for the cushion and the travel expenses, for example, when you have to ride a bus or take a train or pay for a gasoline to bring the package to the courier, um, that also costs money. And if you want to write a thank you card, that also costs you money. And if you want to print out certificate of authenticity, how much does it cost you? And most importantly, the price of your canvas, or in my case, if I want to paint on a bag. I have made a sample calculation here, guys. I'm going to show you later on. Um, it's just a sample. I made it for those of you who don't know how to do it, so you can uh, take a look into the specifics. The sample list that I made is actually um, for someone like myself who works from home. So I'm not paying rent, I'm not paying an extra electricity bill for my studio, or I don't have an assistant. So if you have those, you have to include that on your list as well. Now that we are done calculating our materials and other expenses, let's talk about the labor. I also made a sample calculation for this one, so I'm going to show you later on. Even though I have been making art for a very long time, I am actually new to accepting commissioned work, so um, I have not really established my name yet. So it's very hard for me to know my painting's worth, so to make it easier for me, I have decided to base my calculation on the salary of a regular company employee. For example, in the Philippines, if one um, regular employee is earning around 200 per hour, I think that we as an artist, we have to charge a little bit more than that because our skills are special and it's not like everybody can paint, right? So it is understandably um, a little bit more expensive than the regular job. So that's how I calculate my labor. I pay myself per hour. 
And now I'm sure you want to know as to how long it would take for me to finish one painting, right? So for the portraits, it would usually take me around 4 to 5 hours. And no, I don't charge my client only for 5 hours worth of work because if you are an artist as well, you know it that when we try to collaborate with a client, it usually takes a lot of time. We exchange a lot of emails, we send them photos, they send us photos. So until we come up to the decision, it usually takes us around 2 hours, I guess, if you comprise it. And when the design of our bag or painting is finally ready, we also take time to prepare the table, the space, and in my case, I also have to deglaze the bag. And that usually takes me around 30 minutes at least. And then we do the actual painting process, which is, as I said, takes me around 4 to 5 hours. And then after that, when it's all dry, we try to varnish it. I varnish it twice to make sure that the bag uh, painting is well protected and that would also take around 30 minutes in total right then we wrap the bag make sure that it's safe we write notes and that would also take around 30 minutes i think and then to go to the courier in my case i will go to the post office and to go there do the things come back home it would usually take me around an hour so after doing all of those things, I already have spent nine and a half hours in total. As I have mentioned earlier, if the regular employee in your area is earning, for example, 200 per hour, you can at least pay yourself 300 per hour. It is a special skill, not everybody can paint, so it's only right for us to be paid a little bit more. So there you have it guys, that's how I calculate my final painting price. I simply calculate all of my expenses and the materials and then I add my labor. I hope that you can apply this method if it suits you. And this works for me very well. Of course, when you are more famous or gain more audiences, I think you can always change your price. But as for me, this works for me now. And I'm going to continue following this rule. And so yeah, I'm going to show you the list here um, to show you a little bit more detail as to how I calculate the prices. Um, for example, how much it cost for me for the paint because the paint will obviously not run out after finishing one bag So for those young ones who are watching who does not know how to do that I have provided a sample here so you can pause this video and try to look at the list and hopefully You are able to figure out your own pricing as well a very important note, um, the pricing that I'm talking about here is basically for the small paintings. And by small, I mean same as this bag's painting or probably around A4 to A3 size. I have a different rule when it comes to larger paintings, so this one does not apply. I obviously have to charge more because it's a huge piece of artwork so maybe one day i'm going to talk about how i will also calculate my pricing for those so i'm going to insert the sample calculation here really quick you can take a screenshot if you like and then we will proceed with the painting If you are an artist and you have a different way of calculating your painting prices, please let us know. You can comment down below so we can also learn from you. That would be very nice. If you have any videos that you would like me to make for you guys, you can let me know and leave a comment below so I can see what I can do. As long as I know the answer to your questions, I'm going to try to get back to you. I hope that you um, learn a thing or two when you watch my video. That's my goal. And I hope that you can also share with me um, any thoughts that you have or any ideas or anything that you can share for us. It will be very welcome our painting is done as you can see here i am applying the varnish 
and I will also be making some kind of a thank you note that I would like to attach to my box and I also show you how I package my bag so I hope you guys will keep on watching and enjoy the rest of the video I found this really cute stamps from a Japanese dollar shop called Syria so I wanted to try it out so that's what I'm doing here The bag is finally ready to be shipped, it's packed and I like this stamp thingy and I also added some of the labels that I made before which is handle with care and keep dry. Thank you so much for watching, now here is my lovely client Shara modeling the bag for me. This has been Tonico, see you in my next one, bye!